Hello fellow tankers, um, today we're gonna look at a replay from myself for a plump tanker. So um, I'm gonna comment on this replay and please excuse my terrible German accent. I'm really not good at speaking English and my English is a mixture of American and British English. It really is terrible, but I hope you can still understand what I'm trying to say here. And I really hope that plump tanker is able to put this replay on his channel because I really enjoyed his latest videos. I've watched most of them because I, I've discovered his channel throughout my channel. Um, I don't know how YouTube said to me that like I had him in my um, in my uh, videos. You know, right side when you upload a video yourself, there are few videos from other channels, and I found his there. So please excuse my accent and please excuse when I I don't know Plum Tanker for too long. But I I try to watch as many videos as I could. <coughs> so the E75, I really like this tank. Uh, first of all, I like the VK4502B more than the E75 itself. But after a time, I kind of discovered that the extra mobility the E75 has is just simply superior compared to the VK4502B. It's not that of an artillery magnet and you don't need to fit a spall liner on the E75 but you certainly have to fit a spall liner on the VK4502B. So yes, the first shot goes into the lower plate of the E50 it's very important to aim for that because the upper plate is almost as strong as the one on the E75. It's very well angled and it has 150 mm of armor. So this is a kind of strong position for the E75. But you have to watch out for the front road wheel or drive wheel. I don't know what the, what the English word for that is. That if people shoot through that, you're gonna get tracked and you're gonna get damaged, and it's not good for you. Especially not when an autoloader shoots at you. Now we see on this edge here, um, there are many heavy tanks and some really bad tank destroyers like the Jagdpanzer the Iron 100, the Jägeru. Um, it's very dangerous to be here and the T-34 makes a mistake, he stands there a quite long time. I'm actually surprised that he hold, uh, hold uh, off uh, these shots so well. So yes, I'm looking for a shot on the Jagdpan Z100, but then the E75 makes this mistake and I can shoot him in the front drive wheel. That was the thing that I told you about um, a few minutes ago. So now the Jagdpan Z100 is looking my way, that's very dangerous for me. Um, and the T124 is kind of pressurizing me there. He wants to push, he wants to get damage, but I don't want to die. That's the point. Um, now I'm shooting the KV4 and the T125 goes out. Kind of dangerous play from him there. Um, yes, and he's getting damaged, but I, I'm not gonna push. I'm not gonna die with you, mate. So, sorry. Um, I'm trying my best, so you see I killed the T-34, I'm trying to bait the shots from the Jagdpanzer E-100, he shoots me one time, I give him one shot in the return and the T-125, uh, E-4, sorry my friends, is now on 18%, he's very low on HP, but I, you see, I try my best to help him, but sometimes it just isn't enough, is it? Um, yes. E75, I didn't have a good shot on him because his lower plate was very good angled. And now the E4 calls me, calls you to me in chat and calls me a coward. Sorry mate, but I'm not gonna die with you. I can try to support you, I can shoot the e, uh, Jagdpanzer E100, I can bait his shots on me, but I'm not gonna die with you. And flaming in chat is certainly not making anything better. So now I'm waiting for the mistake from the E75. I want him to push me or to give me any weak spot of his armor. 
Um, yes, it's not working too well. My replay is bugging right now. I hope um, it's not bugging with Plum Tanker. Uh, so I, I shot and I missed my shot because the 75 gun is not the most accurate in the world. That's why I certainly like the Tiger II more than the E75, just because this wonderful accurate gun. I mean the armor is not as good, but I really, really love the gun of the Tiger II. Now I had a shot on the relatively unangled side armor of the E75 through the gun, uh, through the rifle. Sorry guys, my English really is terrible. Um, uh, there comes Jaegeru. Now he's trying to push me and this is very dangerous and if the Jaegeru wants to kill you it is certainly gonna have a good chance to do that. I'm trying to side scrape here. I give him one in the lower plate. Yes, he gave me right through my turret front. You have literally no chance to bounce that. Now I tried to shoot him in the side. I didn't really manage to penetrate him. The angle was still too high. But I couldn't get in front of him. If you go in front of Yelgaru, you're gonna die. But I could outplay him there, there kind of. Now only the E75 remains and I know I can take a shot from him. My first shot bounces off the angle or plate because I was shooting down into it. Then I drove around him. He didn't turn his horse so I could just shoot him in the ass. Funnily I even bounced his shot. So that was the replay. I hope you liked it, I hope you can include it on your channel and uh, thanks for watching.